Hi guys, Adora here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I believe that every Big Brother contestant needs to know. So if you know any Big Brother contestant that is coming out of the house, please have them watch this. I think that it will just make their journey more effective, more efficient, okay? And just allow them to power down, to power up and power through, like I say, all the time. Okay, so the first one is to rest and repair. Here's the thing, when you're in the big brother house like it feels like there's not a lot of activity going on and so you are physically resting you're relaxing you're chilled you're just having conversations maybe once in a while you have like games and activity that might happen but it can really feel like you know what like i've chilled in the house so when i come out i want to have activity going on but the truth about it is that there is a lot that happens mentally and emotionally when you're in a confined space right with a group of people that you didn't necessarily choose and so you're having to hear listen to conversations and be involved in things that you know are not necessarily always 100 percent you and so you when you come out of the house you need to be able to power down and just find time in between to rest and repair okay it will help you in the longer run it will help you to just be able to conserve your energy right to do productive things because when you leave the house there's a lot of obligations that you need to fulfill so from sponsorship obligations having to go to the sponsors offices to media partnerships and media interviews right that you have to participate in to dealing with the fans right to dealing with the, your team your core team whoever was responsible for just you know helping you while you were in the house you know to dealing with your family your friends there's it's it could get really really overwhelming and i completely understand this and so in between that time where all this activity is going on that burst of energy is there don't just run on adrenaline alone find time in between you know where you just say you know what i'm not gonna do anything i'm gonna sleep well i'm gonna eat well i'm just gonna rest and repair your body will thank you for this your mind will thank you for this your spirit will thank you for this you will also be in a position to make better decisions right that are going to be better for you ultimately in the long run number two don't take every single opportunity that comes okay when you come out of a platform like that naturally a lot of brands will reach out to you a lot of individuals will reach out to you with so many different sponsorship and, and partnership opportunities right and at that in that moment it can feel like you know i need to grab all these things because if i don't grab it right now i might lose that opportunity and so a lot of people will go ahead and start taking on things that might seem great today but in a couple weeks will make absolutely no sense to you okay so don't take on every single opportunity ask yourself questions like these opportunities that are being thrown at me are they in alignment with my values are they in alignment with who i am are they in alignment with where i'm going you know is this something that i'm even remotely interested in um what is the commercial opportunity that is tied to these things right are those valuable to me don't allow other people to just dictate terms and to just throw things at you and in your moment of excitement you just grab 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 okay pause take time to go over a lot of these contracts extremely important look through those contracts look through those opportunities ask questions sometimes you'll hear people say you know i need you to sign this by monday there's a lot of pressure 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 take your time if you don't feel comfortable about it allow yourself to communicate that with the people make them tweak the terms and conditions until it actually also suits you so this is not to say that you know you don't compromise where you need to but make sure that you are making decisions from an informed place and that you're making decisions that ultimately are going to be beneficial to your journey number three prepare for media interviews okay don't go into media interviews blindly don't go in with it with the assumption that you know i'm just gonna go then i'm just gonna speak okay it is incredibly important that you understand that journalists sometimes will go out of their way to just try and get whatever information they want to get out of you okay and you cannot be upset if you do not prepare for the interview and you go ahead and just start saying things that you're not supposed to say that you will feel like oh man i shouldn't have said that like i, I want to take that back but you can't take it back when it's once it's out okay so people are going to look for clickbait they're going to look for things that you say that they can amplify and get viral content out of so take time to prepare for your media interview start to ask yourself quite 
impossible questions that you believe that they can ask you get other people to ask you those questions right answer those questions there are going to be times where you feel overly emotional about something in those moments you don't have to answer the question i know it can feel like pressure to always answer a question like someone asks you something and you feel like i have to say something or i have to clarify this or i have to you know and in some cases it's okay to clarify in other cases align and agree with your team with the people around you on the things that you will not be speaking on and make sure that you don't speak on those things okay prepare for your interviews if you prepare then there's a higher possibility that you can actually control the narrative of the conversations that the media is having with you number four don't believe or listen to every single story that you hear context is extremely important okay so when you come out of the house people will tell you different things okay they'll tell you about things that happened while you were in there what this person said about you what that person said about you and those things are not necessary they can be big distractions for you okay so realize that while some of these people just want to have conversations and maybe share and listen to your opinion on it the truth is sometimes the context is missing okay so somebody may have said something about you or said something that you know with your name in there but maybe the context in which they were saying it was a bit different so give people the benefit of doubt okay don't come out and focus so much on the negative energy don't come out and focus so much on the distractions on the gossip and all of that stuff right it has happened it has happened <laughs> okay you can re-watch the tapes if you want to watch it right um, and listen for yourself but i don't really think it's necessary right so don't just get don't get so involved in conversations that you don't need to be getting involved in okay it's happened it's over focus on your journey focus on what it is that you're doing okay and be able to get those things out the door in ways that are beneficial to you number five don't panic okay so when you come out of the house you hear a lot of people saying the phrase oh you have to leverage quickly if you don't leverage the opportunity right now you're gonna miss out on this and you're gonna miss out on that and here's the thing this is about longevity this is about what you want to do from here onwards going on moving forward okay so don't panic too much about the possibilities that oh if you don't do this now if a new show shows up or something else is going to take the attention and all those things okay just focus on trying to live a purposeful life for yourself ask yourself why did i even go into the show in the first place what am i trying to get out of this how can i just you know focus on my own focus right, on the things that are important to me um don't allow people determine the trajectory for you right in that moment of panic okay so don't panic whatever is meant to come to you is going to come to you whatever is meant for you is for you number six my advice for you is get a brand team okay if you can afford to get a brand team or if you know people um, that you know have that expertise that you can go to and start to map out your brand and what it is that you actually want to do go ahead and do it you don't have to handle everything by yourself i've seen people come out of the house and just want to do every single thing that they, themselves and the problem is that takes a lot of energy and then also um you don't always see you know opportunities the way other people see it people who are experts people who have experience in those things okay so allow yourself to build out a team you don't have to have a huge team so it, you don't necessarily need to sign up with like some management company or anything like that you can literally just get like one or two people um, around you that understand brand building that understand brand positioning and are willing to be patient with you to figure out what it is that you want because you also don't want a brand team that is just trying to paint this picture and create something that is not you okay so it's important that you find a brand team that is in alignment with what you foresee this journey to be um, and can help you interpret those dreams that you have super super important if you can do it please go ahead and do it you don't have to journey on this um, you don't have to go on this journey by yourself alone number seven and my final advice is that you should enjoy the process okay so again it can feel like oh you know i have to grab all the business opportunities this is about this and everyone's telling you stuff okay but enjoy the process enjoy the journey this is also about making sure that you find fulfillment in the things that you're doing in the things that you in fact you know what at some point stop doing and just be <laughs> okay 
be like start being okay the more that you can be yourself the more that you'll be able to do things that are in alignment with your being okay so just enjoy the process love this whole thing you've you had an opportunity you took the opportunity okay it's happened it's great now you can use that platform as a springboard to do all the things that you have visioned okay so i wish you the very best um enjoy this if you think that there's someone else that needs to watch it please share it with them as well looking forward to seeing the amazing work that you're gonna do hey guys so if you enjoyed that video please hit the subscribe button on my youtube channel uh, check out some of the other videos i've done before and i can't wait to journey with you